folks, and welcome to another helping of Mr. H's Hot Pot. You join me and Mrs. H this evening in our little back garden of our digs. Now, as Ken Ward, one of my followers, has pointed out, I may need to explain what the term digs means for anybody who's outside of Lancashire. Well, the term digs simply means the place where you're staying. Could be your hotel, could be the property you've rented, as in our case, or simply your home. So that's what digs means. So we're just relaxing here by the crock pot. It's uh, done some miles as this crock pot, as uh, Mrs H can contest to. So we're just having a little chat, and we we thought we'd we'd let you join in on it. So Mrs H, what do you think our first crock pot chat should be about? Travel, as soon as we've just got here. So I think. Travel in what respect? How stressed people get when they're travelling. Yeah, we saw a bit of that at uh, Folkestone, didn't we? We did. I was coming through and everybody had had to rush because there'd been a bit of an accident on M25, as there always seems to be. We'd for <laughs> once left it lastminute.com and um, there were a guy there and he'd supposedly been doing 100. Yeah. Which is illegal. He shouldn't be admitting to it for a start. Um, to get there on time and then obviously there was a 30 minute delay. Well the problem is with that is once you get there you, you've got to get your gate slot haven't you? You can't just turn up and say oh, well they're running half an hour late you know I'll, I'll nip in and have a burger while we wait. It doesn't work like that it's like with airlines you've got to be there so if you're late you, you're shut out even though they're running late that's no excuse. It is a bit annoying really and like you said I wonder what happens if you turn up you know, just that little bit late because of travel. And then, you know, do they find you or do they just bang you on next train? We've never actually looped into that because we've always been early, haven't we? It's only if they've got a train available, though, because they were supposedly booked up. If yeah. we'd have missed our slot, would we have had to wait until the next available train, which could have been to the next day? And do you get found? You know, there's that to it as well. Well, yeah, if you've not paid for the... What is it, Flexi Plus? Flexi Plus, yeah, where you can just turn up. Which, the Polish guy, I mean, I'm not running Polish people down, fair enough, he paid the money, you know, and he was probably panicking, he didn't want to miss his slot, but if he was on Flexi Plus, he could go any time he wanted. True. Although it is a bit annoying when you start seeing people go who've paid, you know, for cheap seats type of thing. And there is no there is no better seats on that Flexi Plus, because you're in your own car, aren't you? There's no seats at all. <laughs> well, there is in your car, you know what I mean, though. I do. You know, so, I don't know. But yeah, people just get stressed out. You see it in airports, I suppose. We've never done ferry terminals, but I should imagine you'd see it there as well. Because people have set in the mind, I've got this itinerary and I've got to get to, from A to B by a certain time. I mean, fair enough with an aeroplane. I mean, if you're delayed on an aeroplane, it's usually four or five hours. Yeah. <laughs> or weeks. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But the train, it was a 30-minute delay. Yeah. It's a coffee stop that's it you just knock one off of your travel time you don't go for a coffee at Paris or wherever you're going through yeah. Yeah. So. I mean how do you think regarding travel do you think travel where we do it's a good thing in what regards well we, you know we're, we're traveling via via tunnel aren't we and a lot of people do it via ferry and then they go on ferry and they have a little meal and the only reason we don't do that is we don't want to leave dogs in all but there were the other year when it was really hot and some of our friends that had travelled, there were dogs dying in the cars yeah. because they'd been left for 12 hours down in the hold. And once them doors shut, you can't go down there once it's set sail. No, so there is no other way of doing it, is there? Because we wouldn't want to leave the dogs for all that time. I mean, time-wise, if you look at it time-wise, we probably get over, depending. I mean, fair enough, if you're going up through Uck of Holland and that way, then you know it's, it's a longer journey via ferry. But to get over here onto the continent, we probably get over faster than, than the ferry. Although we're doing the travelling, you know, from the northwest of England. Yeah, but then we have to have a night stay in a hotel. Yeah. Whereas exactly. if you did the ferry, you sleep on the ferry. Yeah, you have a meal and all that kind of good stuff. And then you refresh to drive again, whereas we just can't do it. We've tried. <laughs> We've done it one year where we did the drive down, yeah, just, just train, away. drive over. Just burns you over. Ended up sleep in all sorts of little petrol stations and stuff. Yeah, we did that, didn't we, it, uh, in Belgium? <laughs> Texas car garage. You can't sleep in a car. I don't care what people say, you just can't sleep in them. Well, there's, I think you've always got that as well, you know, you're conscious that 
and just because it's an English thing, probably nobody would bother you over here. You know, you see Netherlands people and they just pitch up anywhere like gypsies, don't they, bless them. <laughs> you know, they like the caravans, they're, they're more mad on it than British, aren't they? They are. But yeah, I mean, travelling's good. I, I, I think it's good the way we do it with, with Channel Tunnel. You know, because once you get on that 20 minutes and you're across, aren't you? Then the only negative thing is you quite like the uh, east side of Germany. And we've tried getting over, and we have got over there once, but it was the entire two weeks to get over there and then get back. Yeah. We, yeah. we only had a three or four days over there. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's the same if you want to get up to north, you know, northern Germany, up to Hamburg and that way on. You know, I mean, the old east, it's um, it's still old world. It's still, you know, still very communist era. Although it's, what is it, 20, 25 years, something like that, since yeah. war came down? Takes time for change, though, and people don't really like changing, do they? No, it, it was a bit rough, East Germany, though. <laughs> it was all right where we was. You can get in some places, and it really is rough. Yeah. You know. But, yeah. The restaurants and stuff were nice in Berlin. Yeah, yeah, it was. And I liked Nuremberg. I think it just put wind up us a bit because we were staying in that hotel which which had been in Farmer East and. That idiot come past on by, didn't he? He was obviously bombed out on something, alcohol or whatever, and he says drinking a beer. And uh, he just put wind up us a bit, because we hadn't seen that since leaving the UK, you know, somebody coming past. <laughs> you can tell I do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Weekend occurrence. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's travel. It's just people getting stressed out. There's no need for it, is there? No, but I think we all do it, don't we? I mean, road rage. Even when you're just going to and from work. Yeah. A loaf of bread. I need to get there now. Yeah. But no, the the people at the train the other day, they were just carrying on and there was no need for a 20 minute, 30 minute delay. Yeah. Yeah. That poor bloke, he was getting it in neck though, wasn't he? I mean, he was running, he was lifting barriers. Yeah. And all he does, I mean, he was saying, it's, it's only my second week. <laughs> You know, all he gets told is lift barrier. It was the fact that he kept turning away from them and counting to ten. He could see him say to himself, count to ten and breathe. <laughs> well, they'll have been told all that, won't they? They'll have had training on all that. You know, there's no good getting, no getting on somebody's back. If you're in that queue and you're near barriers, you're on next train. It's when you're on the other side and barriers have closed. Yeah. But it's going to take us, it took us half an hour to get through customs. Mm. And they're telling us now that you're going to have to go an hour and a bit to get home before well, your time. Well, what they've done now, uh, on our side, it, Brussels have brought it in now. Any country that's outside Schengen zone, uh, they have to have the passports checked. At one time, it used to just be, yeah, three. They were just doing that, weren't they? But now, I don't. it's not just Britain. They've not just gone Britain's back over it. Any country that's outside Schengen zone. Even though they're EU countries, you know, because one or two of them have opted out of it. Yeah. So, that's travel. Yeah. I'll give this fire a stoke. It's uh, gone down a bit. <laughs>